In this video, we are going to look at how to set up and manage groups in Schoolbox. Setting up a group in Schoolbox allows you to choose specific users to be a part of your group and choose the level of access they have to the group page. You can use groups for any extracurricular groups, staff groups, committees, or anything else that involves a specific group of people. Creating a group page gives you a space to share and collaborate with the group of people. Some popular examples of group pages are year-level communication pages, sporting team pages, parents and friends groups, and campus pages, among many others. To set up a group in Schoolbox, navigate your way to your school's resources area. This could be located in the top navigation bar, the side menu, or could be a tile on your dashboard. Your school might have its resources area called something different. So if you're having trouble locating it, ask your IT or Schoolbox administration team. Once in your resources area, choose where you would like your group to live. Again, if you're unsure where you should create your group, check with your IT or Schoolbox team. Then select Add Folder. Give your group a name. Choose the template for your group page. Your templates have been set by your school, so they may look different to mine. You can always change what is on the page once it is created, so don't be too worried about which template you choose. You'll now need to choose who is in your group. If you have Inherit Permissions turned on, untick this box. Then set the role permissions. These are general rules that say who can see or who can edit your group page. You will be able to set permissions for specific users in a moment. So if, for example, you wanted to only have a certain group of students have access to the group, you would give the student role no permissions and then you would add the individual students in the next step. You'll now need to select Create Group. Scroll down the page and select Create Folder. It's now time to add users and manage the settings of your group. You will notice you have automatically been added to the group as the group admin. Clicking on Add Members will allow you to add users to the group. You can add users by typing and selecting their names. You can add them in bulk from another group by clicking From Group and then typing and selecting the name of the group from which you are adding your users. You can add users by role, by selecting From Role and then typing and selecting the role. And finally, you can also add users in bulk from a list of their external IDs or their Schoolbox usernames. You can do this by selecting From List and then either typing in or pasting a list of users separated by a line. When you've selected your users, click Add Users. The current members area will show you who is in the group and allow you to choose the permissions they have to the group page. Clicking the eye icon gives the user read access to the group. This means they can see the group page and will receive any notifications for anything that happens, provided your school is using notifications and their notifications are set up correctly. The pen icon gives the user right access to the group. This means that they can edit the group page. They will also receive notifications, just like any user with read access. The star icon gives the user group administrator permissions. There can only be one group administrator. A group admin has all of the same permissions as someone with right access, and on top of that, they can add members to the page and change the group settings. Clicking on Settings will allow you to choose what type of group you are creating. A restricted group means that the only way to join the group is for the group admin to add you. A moderated group means that you can request to join the group, but the group administrator must accept your request. A free group 
means that anyone can join the group at any time. The messaging area of the settings allows you to choose whether notifications will be sent to people in your group. By ticking this box, you will be allowing notifications to be sent, for example, to group members if someone creates news. The force follow option enables you to force notifications to the group members. This means that they can't choose to turn off notifications for this group. If you have created a moderated group as the group admin, you can approve or deny members in the waiting list area. Once you have set up your group, you can start working on your group page. To access your group page, use the breadcrumbs menu. You can now populate your group page however you like.